If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated with more fascinating content, please consider hitting the notification bell, subscribing to our channel, and sharing your thoughts in the comments section below. In this video, we'll go over 10 different ways to get rid of mosquitoes. Method 1. Use Mosquito Repellent. Apply mosquito repellent on your skin to deter mosquitoes from biting you. Look for repellents containing DEET, picaridin, or oil of lemon eucalyptus is providing advice on how to protect yourself from mosquito bites by using mosquito repellent products. Here's more information on the repellents mentioned. DEET, N, N, Dethyl Metatoluamide. DEET is a highly effective and widely used mosquito repellent. It works by confusing the mosquito's sense of smell, making it difficult for them to locate and bite you. DEET-based repellents come in various concentrations, typically ranging from 5% to 30%, with higher concentrations providing longer-lasting protection. DEET is safe for most people when used as directed but some individuals may experience skin irritation or other mild side effects. Picaridin. Picaridin is another effective mosquito repellent ingredient. It has a low odor, is non-greasy, and doesn't damage plastics or synthetic materials like DEET can. Picaridin-based repellents are available in various concentrations, and they are known for providing long-lasting protection against mosquitoes and other biting insects. Picaridin is often recommended as an alternative to DEET for those who prefer a different option. Oil of Lemon Eucalyptus Ole. Oil of Lemon Eucalyptus is a natural, plant-based mosquito repellent, derived from the Lemon Eucalyptus tree. It contains a compound called PMD, pyromethane 3,8 diol that has been found to be effective in repelling mosquitoes. Ole-based repellents are a good choice for those who prefer natural products. However, it's essential to note that Olay should not be confused with pure essential oil of lemon eucalyptus, as the latter may not provide the same level of protection. When choosing a mosquito repellent, consider your preferences, any potential skin sensitivities, and the duration of protection you need. It's also a good idea to follow the instructions on the product's label for proper application. Keep in mind that no repellent provides 100% protection so it's essential to use other preventive measures, such as wearing appropriate clothing and eliminating mosquito breeding sites, especially in areas where mosquito-borne diseases are a concern. Method 2. Install window screens. Ensure all doors and windows have screens with no holes or tears to prevent mosquitoes from entering your home is providing advice on how to create a barrier against mosquitoes by using window screens. Here's more detailed information. Window screens are mesh-like barriers made of materials such as fiberglass, aluminum, or nylon. They are designed to allow air to flow into your home while keeping insects, including mosquitoes, out. Here's a breakdown of the key points. The primary purpose of window screens is to provide ventilation while keeping insects, pests, and debris outside. They are especially effective in preventing mosquitoes from entering your living spaces. Installation. To implement this preventive measure, ensure that all doors and windows in your home are equipped with screens. Inspect the screens regularly to make sure there are no holes, tears, or gaps that mosquitoes could use to get inside. Repair or replace damaged screens promptly to maintain their effectiveness. There are different types of window screens available, including fiberglass screens. These are common and cost-effective. They are lightweight, easy to install, and resistant to corrosion. Aluminum screens. Aluminum screens are durable and long-lasting, but may be more expensive than fiberglass. Nylon screens. Nylon screens are a good option if you want something more resistant to wear and tear. They are typically used in high-traffic areas. Specialized screens. Some screens are designed specifically to block out not only mosquitoes, but also smaller insects like noceums, tiny biting insects. Regular maintenance of window screens is essential to ensure they remain effective. Here are some maintenance tips. Clean the screens periodically to remove dust, pollen, and debris. Check for any signs of damage or wear, such as holes or tears, and repair or replace damaged sections as needed. Make sure the screens are securely fastened to the window frames to prevent gaps that mosquitoes could exploit. Installing and maintaining window screens is an effective and relatively simple way to keep mosquitoes and other pests out of your home, 
while allowing fresh air to circulate. It's an essential part of mosquito control, especially during the warm months when windows and doors are often open. Method 4. Eliminate standing water. Here's a more detailed explanation. Eliminating standing water to prevent mosquito breeding. Mosquitoes lay their eggs in stagnant or standing water. These eggs hatch into mosquito larvae, which then develop into adult mosquitoes. Eliminating standing water disrupts this life cycle and reduces mosquito populations around your home. Common breeding sites. Mosquitoes can breed in a variety of water holding containers and areas. Here are some examples. Flower pots. Small amounts of water can accumulate in the sources beneath potted plants. Gutters. Clogged or improperly sloped gutters can hold stagnant water, providing a breeding site. Bird baths. Bird baths with stagnant water are attractive breeding spots for mosquitoes. Tires. Old tires left outdoors can collect rainwater and become breeding grounds for mosquitoes. Containers. Any containers left outside, such as buckets, cans, or discarded items can collect water and support mosquito breeding. To prevent mosquito breeding, take the following actions. Empty and clean. Regularly inspect and empty containers that collect water, such as flower pot sources, bird baths, and buckets. Clean gutters. Keep your gutters clean and well maintained to prevent water from accumulating. Cover or dispose. Cover containers or store them upside down to prevent water accumulation. Properly dispose of old tires or any items that can collect water. Drain or fill. If you have ornamental ponds, ensure they have proper circulation or treat them to prevent mosquito larvae. Fill in low-lying areas where water tends to accumulate. Importance. Eliminating standing water is a crucial step in mosquito control because it addresses the source of mosquito infestations. By removing breeding sites, you reduce the number of mosquitoes in your immediate vicinity, decreasing the likelihood of bites and the risk of mosquito-borne diseases. Consistency is key. Make it a routine to inspect your property for potential breeding sites and take action to eliminate standing water. This should be done throughout the mosquito season, especially in warm, humid climates where mosquitoes are more active. By eliminating standing water around your home, you can significantly reduce mosquito populations and create a more mosquito-free environment for yourself and your family. It's an essential part of integrated mosquito control efforts. Method 5. Clean gutters. Here's a more detailed explanation. Cleaning gutters to prevent mosquito breeding. Gutters are an integral part of a home's drainage system. They collect rainwater from the roof and direct it away from the foundation, preventing water damage and erosion. However, when gutters become clogged with debris, they can hold stagnant water, creating ideal conditions for mosquito breeding. Mosquitoes lay their eggs in stagnant or standing water. Clogged gutters can accumulate rainwater and debris, creating pools of water that become attractive breeding sites for mosquitoes. Mosquito larvae develop in these stagnant water pools. To prevent mosquito breeding and maintain the functionality of your gutters, it's essential to perform regular maintenance. Inspect and clean your gutters at least twice a year, ideally in the spring and fall. However, more frequent cleaning may be necessary in areas with heavy tree cover or during periods of heavy rainfall. Remove leaves, twigs, dirt, and any other debris that may have accumulated in the gutters. Use a gutter scoop or a garden trowel to clear out the debris. After removing debris, flush the gutters with a hose to ensure proper water flow and remove any remaining dirt or blockages. Check that downspouts are clear and properly connected, allowing water to flow away from the house's foundation. Regular gutter maintenance not only prevents water damage to your home, but also reduces the risk of mosquito infestations. By eliminating stagnant water in gutters, you remove a potential breeding ground for mosquitoes, decreasing their presence around your property. When cleaning gutters, take safety precautions. Use a sturdy ladder, wear appropriate protective gear, and work with a partner if possible. Be cautious when using tools to clear debris to avoid damaging the gutter system or injuring yourself. If you're uncomfortable with or unable to clean your gutters yourself, consider hiring a professional gutter cleaning service. They have the equipment and expertise to safely and effectively maintain your gutters. Maintaining clean gutters is an essential step in mosquito control and home maintenance. By ensuring that rainwater flows freely through your gutters and away from your home, you reduce the risk of both water damage and mosquito-related problems.
Method 6. Use mosquito traps. Here's a more detailed explanation. Mosquito traps are devices designed to attract, capture, or kill mosquitoes. They are used to reduce mosquito populations in specific areas, such as your yard or outdoor living spaces. By luring mosquitoes away from people. Types of mosquito traps. These traps emit carbon dioxide, mimicking the breath of humans and animals, which attracts mosquitoes. Once attracted, mosquitoes are typically captured or killed using various methods, such as a fan or adhesive surfaces. These traps use ultraviolet UV light to attract mosquitoes. When mosquitoes are drawn to the light source, they are typically either trapped or electrocuted by an electrified brood. Propane traps burn propane to produce heat and carbon dioxide which attract mosquitoes. The heat and CO2 are combined with a chemical lure to attract mosquitoes, which are then captured or killed. Proper placement of mosquito traps is essential for their effectiveness. Strategic placement. Position traps in areas where mosquitoes are likely to congregate, such as near standing water, gardens, or outdoor seating areas. Away from living spaces. Place traps away from where you and your guests spend time to draw mosquitoes away from your outdoor activities. Check and empty the traps regularly to ensure they continue to work efficiently. The effectiveness of mosquito traps can vary depending on factors like the type of trap, the mosquito species in your area, and environmental conditions. Some traps are more suitable for specific mosquito species than others. Additional considerations. Some mosquito traps can be noisy, and UV light traps may emit bright light. Consider these factors when placing traps in your yard, especially if they might disturb your outdoor experience. Maintenance requirements vary among trap types. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for cleaning and maintaining your trap to ensure it works effectively. While mosquito traps can be a valuable tool in mosquito control, they are most effective when used in conjunction with other preventive measures such as mosquito repellent, wearing protective clothing, and eliminating breeding sites like standing water. Using mosquito traps in your yard can help reduce the annoyance of mosquito bites and create a more comfortable outdoor environment. However, it's essential to select the right type of trap for your needs and place them strategically for the best results. Method 7. Plant Mosquito Repelling Plants Certain plants, such as citronella, lavender, and marigolds, can naturally repel mosquitoes. Plant them in your garden or keep potted versions around your outdoor living spaces. Suggests using specific plants known for their mosquito repelling properties to help deter mosquitoes from your outdoor areas. Here's a more detailed explanation. Using mosquito repelling plants in your garden. Mosquito repelling plants emit fragrances or natural compounds that mosquitoes find unpleasant or confusing, making them less likely to land or bite in the vicinity of these plants. Types of mosquito repelling plants. Here are some examples of plants known for their mosquito repelling properties. Citronella. Citronella plants, particularly the citronella grass, Symbopagon nardus, are well known for their ability to repel mosquitoes. The scent of citronella masks the odors that attract mosquitoes. Lavender. Lavender is known for its pleasant fragrance, but it also has mosquito repelling properties. Planting lavender in your garden can help keep mosquitoes at bay. Marigolds. Marigolds, with their bright flowers, contain pyrethrum, a natural insect repellent. They are effective in repelling mosquitoes and other garden pests. Rosemary. Rosemary is an aromatic herb that can also help repel mosquitoes when planted in your garden. Planting and placement. Plant these mosquito repelling plants in your garden or flowers, preferably near outdoor seating areas, doorways, or windows where mosquitoes are likely to enter. Potted plants. If you have limited garden space or want to create a movable barrier against mosquitoes, you can also keep these plants in pots or containers around your outdoor living spaces. Regularly prune and care for your mosquito repelling plants to keep them healthy and maintain their mosquito repelling properties. Harvesting. For herbs like lavender and rosemary, you can harvest and use the leaves or flowers for various purposes, including as natural mosquito repellents. While planting mosquito repelling plants can help reduce mosquito activity in your outdoor areas, it's essential to remember that they may not provide 100% protection. Consider using additional mosquito control measures, such as mosquito nets repellents, or mosquito traps for comprehensive mosquito management. 
Varieties. There are different varieties and species of these plants, so you can choose the ones that thrive in your local climate and match your garden's aesthetics. Planting mosquito repelling plants is an attractive and environmentally friendly way to enhance your outdoor space. While reducing mosquito presence, these plants not only serve a functional purpose, but also add beauty and fragrance to your garden or outdoor living areas. Method 8. Avoid peak mosquito times. Mosquitoes are most active during dawn and dusk, so try to stay indoors during these times or wear protective clothing provides guidance on how to minimize mosquito exposure by being mindful of the times when mosquitoes are most active. Here's a more detailed explanation. Mosquitoes are most active during dawn and dusk, which are the periods shortly after sunrise and just before sunset. During these times, mosquitoes are more likely to be searching for a blood meal, and their activity level is generally higher. To reduce your risk of mosquito bites, consider staying indoors during peak mosquito times. This is an effective way to avoid exposure to mosquitoes altogether, especially in areas where mosquito-borne diseases are a concern. If staying indoors isn't an option or you want to enjoy outdoor activities during dawn or dusk, consider wearing protective clothing. Long-sleeved shirts. Wear long-sleeved shirts to cover your arms as mosquitoes are less likely to bite through clothing. Long pants. Opt for long pants or trousers to cover your legs. Socks and shoes. Wear socks and closed toe shoes to protect your feet and ankles. Light colors. Mosquitoes are attracted to dark colors, so choose light-colored clothing which may be less attractive to them. Also consider the awareness of local conditions. Mosquito activity can vary by location and season. Be aware of the specific peak mosquito times in your area, as they may differ depending on factors like climate and the presence of certain mosquito species. By being mindful of peak mosquito times and taking appropriate precautions, you can significantly reduce your risk of mosquito bites and the potential transmission of mosquito-borne diseases. Method 9. Incense for Mosquito Control Using incense for mosquito control is a natural and aromatic approach to create a mosquito-free environment. Various types of incense are known for their ability to repel mosquitoes. Here's an overview of some of the incenses that can help. Citronella Incense Citronella is one of the most well-known mosquito-repelling scents. Citronella incense sticks or cones emit a citrusy aroma that masks the scent of carbon dioxide and body odors, making it difficult for mosquitoes to locate and bite you. These incense products are effective for outdoor use, such as on patios or during camping trips. Lavender Incense Lavender is a fragrant herb that is not only pleasant to humans, but also disliked by mosquitoes. Burning lavender incense can help deter mosquitoes from your indoor and outdoor spaces. Additionally, lavender has calming properties, making it a popular choice for relaxation. Rosemary incense. Rosemary, another aromatic herb, emits a scent that mosquitoes find repulsive. Rosemary incense can be used both indoors and outdoors to help keep mosquitoes at bay. Peppermint incense. Peppermint has a strong and refreshing scent that mosquitoes tend to avoid. Burning peppermint incense indoors can help create a mosquito-free atmosphere, and it may also have a cooling effect in hot weather. Eucalyptus incense. Eucalyptus is known for its sharp, invigorating scent. Eucalyptus incense can be burned indoors to repel mosquitoes. Eucalyptus oil can also be added to incense burners or diffusers for the same effect. Sandalwood Incense Sandalwood has a sweet and woody fragrance that is widely used in incense. While it may not be as potent a mosquito repellent as citronella or lavender, burning sandalwood incense can contribute to a pleasant atmosphere and may offer some mosquito repelling benefits. Neem Incense Neem is a plant with natural insect repelling properties. Neem incense can be used both indoors and outdoors to deter mosquitoes. Neem products are often considered a natural and eco-friendly option for mosquito control. Mixed or blended incense. Some incense products are specifically formulated with a combination of mosquito repelling scents. These blends can offer a broader spectrum of mosquito protection. When using incense for mosquito control, it's essential to follow safety guidelines and burn the incense in well-ventilated areas. Keep in mind that incense alone may not provide 100% protection, especially in highly infested areas. So consider combining it with other preventive measures, such as mosquito nets repellents or screens for comprehensive mosquito management. 
Method 10. Consider professional pest control. If mosquito infestations are severe, consider hiring a professional pest control service to assess and treat your property. Suggests seeking the assistance of trained pest control experts when dealing with particularly troublesome mosquito infestations. Here's a more detailed explanation. Professional pest control for mosquito infestations and the severity of infestations. Severe mosquito infestations can pose health risks and make outdoor activities unbearable. If you notice a significant and persistent mosquito problem on your property, it may be time to consider professional pest control. Benefits of professional services and expertise. Pest control professionals have the knowledge and experience to accurately assess the extent of the mosquito infestation, identify mosquito breeding sites, and determine the most effective methods of control. They can tailor their approach to address the specific needs of your property, taking into account factors such as your location, the mosquito species present, and environmental conditions. Safe and effective treatments. Pest control experts use a range of approved and safe mosquito control methods, including chemical treatments, larvicides, adulticides, and physical interventions to target mosquito populations and breeding sites effectively. Long-term solutions. Professional pest control services often offer long-term solutions to help prevent future mosquito infestations by targeting breeding grounds and implementing control measures. Assessment, inspection and treatment process. Pest control professionals will conduct a thorough inspection of your property to identify mosquito breeding sites, resting areas, and potential entry points. Based on their findings, they will develop a customized mosquito control plan. That may include a combination of larvicides, adulticides, mosquito traps, and habitat modifications. The chosen treatments and interventions will be applied by the professionals with a focus on minimizing environmental impact and ensuring safety. Pest control experts may monitor the effectiveness of their treatments and make necessary adjustments to achieve the desired mosquito reduction. Professional pest control services often maintain open communication with property owners throughout the process. They may provide guidance on steps you can take to prevent future mosquito problems and offer recommendations for ongoing mosquito control. Cost considerations. The cost of professional pest control services for mosquito infestations can vary depending on the severity of the problem, the size of your property, and the specific treatments used. It's advisable to obtain quotes from multiple pest control companies and discuss pricing and treatment options. Licensing and regulation. Ensure that the pest control company you choose is licensed, insured, and compliant with local regulations. This ensures that they are qualified to perform pest control treatments safely and effectively. When mosquito infestations become unmanageable or pose health concerns, professional pest control services can provide an effective solution. Their expertise, customized treatments, and long-term approach can help you regain control of your property and enjoy outdoor spaces more comfortably.